Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create another map animation inside of DaVinci Resolve. Let's take a look at the preview and get started. Right, so I have this image of a map over here. I put the link in the description so you can go ahead and download the same map. I'm going to drag in Fusion Composition onto the timeline. By default, the length will be 5 seconds, which should be good enough for this animation. So let's go to the Fusion page and start creating our animation. So let's go to the Media Pool and drag in this image. And then we can take a look at this. You can see the resolution is quite big. Our timeline is going to be only 1080p. So I'm going to add in a background node. Click on Add. Let's take a look at this Merge one. And I'm going to right click on it and click on swap inputs. You can also press the shortcut key, which is control T to swap the inputs so that now our image is within the 1920 by 1080 composition size. Then under size, I can just reduce that value. So I'm going to set this to around 0.58 so I can see the entire map. Right now, I want two more copies for two of the continents that I'll be highlighting. So let's just copy this and paste it down below. And let's take a look at this. It's going to be same. Nothing will be changed. Now what I'm going to do is on this media in one, I'm going to right click and click on rename. So this will be our continent one. And I'm going to add in a polygon mask to this. And now you can see that everything will be black. So I'm going to click on this polygon one and disable it for now so that we can see the map. I'm going to zoom into the continent over here and just start tracing around or creating a shape around the continent like so. And then finally connect it up like that. Now, if you want to make changes, you can go ahead and select any of these points and just drag them anywhere that you want. And now you can just go ahead and enable the polygon one. And now you can see that we have just this continent. Now we have this outline over here of this uh, map, the extra bit. We don't want that. All right. So after this node, we're going to add in a Luma here, which will get rid of that outline color. And we want to you can also see it got rid of a little bit of color from our map as well. So let's just change the low and the high over here and change these sliders to get that color back like so. And for now, let's just keep it right over here. Now, what we can do is uh, let's uh, copy and paste this again. So I'm going to just copy everything we have over here, this group, copy it and paste it down below. And now this will be our second continent. I'm going to reset the polygon for now so that there will be nothing over there. It will be reset. I'm going to select this polygon and disable this. And now if we take a look at this merge over here, you can see that our entire map. Now you might be thinking what happened to our map and that's because of this Luma here. If you disable this, this is our original map and this is uh, with the Luma here on. So again, we're just going to find our continent over here. Make sure your polygon node is selected and you can start tracing around the continent. Right now, enable the polygon one like so. And there we have it. We can also animate this uh, polygon node. You can just animate its border width as well. Maybe increase the soft edge a little bit and, you know, create your uh, uh, visualization using the border width. You can animate that as well. Uh, but let's just um, skip that for now. I'm going to use uh, another method for this, which will look much better than animating the border width. Cool. So we have both of our continents over here. Now what we can do is let's go to our first continent over here. And for the animation, I'm actually going to use the Luma here over here. If I change the position of this slider, you can see that we can use that for our animation. All right, cool. So I'm going to go to frame 120 and create a keyframe on this slider. Then go back to the very first frame and just move this slider all the way to the right. Both of these. All right. So you it will be your map will disappear, which is what we want. You can do the same thing with other Luma here we have over here. Let's take a look at our merge. Uh, so let's go to frame 120, create a keyframe on low and high slider. Then go to the very first frame and move these sliders to the right. Right. So now we have this uh, cool looking animation. 
right now let's combine all of these maps so first one is our background map over here i'm going to combine it with this merge and then merge two we will combine it with our final the second continent over here so if you take a look at merge two it says how it is going to look you will see that our animation is not there that's because we just have to right click on merge two and click on swap inputs all right so even if we change that you can see nothing really happens and that's because we need to go to that to the previous merge and change the operator to mask and now you can see that we have essentially masked uh, out from our original map and now we can just go ahead and in the background node and change the color of this shape to any color that you want all right and you can do the same thing with this node over here as well let's view this right click click on swap inputs and then on the merge let's change the operator and set that to mask go ahead in the, in the background and change it to any color that you want right cool so after this merge 3 what you can do is you can either use the uh, image plane 3d and use the 3d environment to create your uh, cool 3d look 3d animation to this or you can also use a dve node so let's just uh, first of all let me show you with the dve node uh, it's a pretty cool node so if we just drag that and you can you know just you know start rotating your uh, image around and you know create a cool camera angle maybe you change the perspective and all that stuff um, so you get the idea so you can you know do the same thing what you do using the camera 3d but it's like very very easy to do uh, using the dve node so, so you can you know come up with any camera angle uh, you know play around with different uh, uh, rotation axes and you know start animating all of these properties such as center x uh, z move and the x y z axes all right uh, but i kind of like to use the image plane 3d way because we have more control over it uh, such as we can also add in a depth of field uh, blur which really um, you know sells this animation so let's just add the image plane 3d and uh, let's take a look at it so now we have our world map in a 3d scene now what we can do is after this image plane 3d we can add in a merge 3d and after this merge we can add a renderer 3d on this merge 3d let's select it and add in a camera 3d as well all right cool so if i take a look at merge 3d you won't be able to see anything and that's because we need to select our camera 3d and go to transform and we just have to pull the camera back in the z space so let me just do that again but inside the merge 3d so if i go to merge 3d view it you can see that our camera is kind of in front of the map so what we are essentially doing is just pulling it back on the z axis so i'm going to select the camera and just pull it back All right and when you do that then you will be able to see your image so again just increase it so that we can see the entire image and now you can create any sort of animation on the camera 3d so let's just do that i'm actually going to use the target over here the, this option use target and what that will allow you to do is if i take a look at most 3d you can see that we have this little target in the middle so you can use that to um, you know animate the camera around you can just put this target on any thing that you want in focus so in, in our case we want the map in focus i'm going to just pull it uh, back on the z axis slightly and now on the camera 3d you can go ahead and just create any sort of uh, animation using the on the translation or rotation you can see that if i change the x slider it, it retains the position of the um, map image but if i had this target off then you can see that it just you know shifts the entire image you can uh, you know better visualize this in the merge 3d so if i take a look at it this is our merge 3d and if uh, i go back to my camera 3d over here click on use target and change the image you can see that change the translation you can see that how our camera behaves you know it keeps the uh, image in focus all the time actually it's looking at this target not the image but since our target is on that image so it's gonna keep that in focus if i just set, reset this and uncheck use target and now if i change the x 
position, you can actually see that our camera doesn't really focus on that image. So when you use the target, it kind of makes it easy for the animation. So let's just, um, you know, use that for now. I'm going to click on use target. And now on the image plane 3D, I'm actually going to just slightly tilt it on the X axis and something like that. And then go to camera 3D and I can just zoom into this a little bit. Now you can see that as I am rotating it, it will keep my map in focus all the time. So you can create any kind of movement, any kind of angle to this and change the position and all that stuff. All right, so I'm gonna kind of uh, start from this position. Uh, I'm gonna go back to the very first frame. I'm gonna right click under translation and click on animate translate group. I'm going to also right click under target, click on animate target group. And also let's just do that on rotation as well, because why not? So let's just do that and go to the very end of our animation and start changing the position. So I'm going to rotate around like so. Maybe zoom in a little bit, change the position again. And you can see that how easy it becomes when we use the target to change our to change our position, camera position. I can disable high quality for smoother playback. Uh, but there you have it. We have this really cool animation. Now we can also do is we can add in a text plus node and start typing something. So let's do South America, right? Then we can add in a image plane 3D to this as well and hook it up to merge 3D like so. Right now we have our text in our scene and now what we have to do is go to image plane 3D for our text and we start changing the values over here. First of all, I'm just going to reduce the scale quite a bit something like that and i want it to be placed on this continent over here for south america and i'm just going to change the position and maybe rotation as well so that it's facing the camera like that and change the position a little bit to the left like so and somewhere over here i guess you just keep playing with the different settings over here and try and position it properly. All right, maybe somewhere over here. So at the first frame, we have our text and at the last frame, we have it right on that continent. If we take a look at the uh, result, we can see that our text is uh, animating with the camera and really sells the animation. So you can copy this text and image plane 3d and for uh, you know replace the text with africa continent over here but that is essentially how you can add the text after the render 3d i'm going to just hook it up directly to media out and before we wrap things up go to render 3d change the render type to open gl and under accumulation effects i'm going to click on enable accumulation effect now i'm just going to reduce the amount of blur right now uh, i'm going to set the uh, depth of uh, blur to 0 0.002 for now and i'm going to go back to my camera 3d go to controls and i can change the focal plane and i'm going to make sure that the text is in focus so let's just change the focal plane again you can see that it's not in focus right now but as soon as i reach this value 0 0.065 it is in focus so uh, let's just create a keyframe there focal plane for now and I'm going to go to the end of my animation and you can see that our text is still in focus and maybe you can just increase the slider a little bit. Yeah, there we have it. So I'm going to make sure that the text is still in focus. Let's go to render 3D and maybe increase the depth of field blur a little bit. So uh, that is essentially it. Uh, you can play around with the, the focal plane angle of view to create a different looking animation. But yeah, that is pretty much it. If you go to your edit page, you can see your animation will be right over here. All right, so let's take a look at this animation. So we have this uh, cool animation going on. I know we can just, uh, you know, improve on the focal plane over here. So, you know, that's pretty easy. You can just go ahead and change the focal plane and try and focus on the text over here. 
and you know add some more keyframes and you know try and focus on the continents over here but that is the basics of how you can create this sort of animation i hope this video was helpful hope you learned something new if it did then please make sure you leave a like and also subscribe to the channel thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one Thank you.